first at 5.30. We're looking ahead to summer days out on Lake Michigan. When you're out on the lake, you may not think much about the buoys floating around, but it turns out they do more than you might think. Here's meteorologist Emily Skydema with more on what the buoys provide for the Great Lakes. Yep. You see them all the time in the summer. Some mark swimming areas, while others are high tech and full of instruments that give us real time information on the Great Lakes. When we first started putting these buoys out, it was mostly for, I just say, like occupational safety. So just so working crews can feel safe going out on the water and sort of planning a day. What, what we've seen is, is there's been a uh, boating and fishing community, which is like they're just hooked on these buoy. Ed Verhamey is a principal engineer at Limnotech, where the Great Lakes buoy program began back in 2011 with a single buoy near St. Joseph. Since then, they've expanded up the lakeshore. We service and maintain about a dozen buoys between Lake Michigan and Lake Erie. And in the Great Lakes, there's, there's about 30 of these nearshore buoys total. There's about 10 more that are what I call the NOAA buoys, which are the big ones in the middle of the lake. So there's about 40, 40 some buoys across the Great Lakes that are reporting real time conditions. The buoys have been downsized enough so they can be installed by a 23 foot boat. Still, they aren't exactly small. The ones behind me are about uh, four feet across. They're about six feet tall and they go about eight or so feet below the water. Uh, they weigh about 500 pounds with everything on it. Once the buoys are put in the water each spring, the multitude of instruments on board begin sending back valuable information. The most important parameter is, is wave height. Everyone wants to know how big are the waves. In addition to wave height, the buoys measure the wave period, wind speed, wind direction, relative humidity, and barometric pressure. Water temperature measurements are taken all the way down to the bottom. Some buoys even measure water quality parameters, and their cameras give us an idea of what's happening on the lake when we can't be there. We've actually seen shooting stars. We've seen storms and lightning storms roll across the lake. We've seen groups of kayakers paddle up to the buoy and sort of wave and say hello. So it's been really neat just to have that sort of eye on the water. Buoys provide important information for the National Weather Service, the Coast Guard, and even search and rescue crews. And of course, West Michigan's fishing and boating community depends on that data. One thing that's really unique to West Michigan is, is the community support to these buoys. Uh, you know, if we look across the Great Lakes, there's certainly uh, you know, a lot of interest in boating, but that area from, I'd say, Ludington all the way down past St. Joe, uh, that community has been really supportive of this buoy program. Emily Skydemont for News 8.